Hey everybody, welcome back. I wanted to talk just briefly about time, and I've heard it before, you probably heard it before, and I've been thinking about it a lot uh, this past week. I just took on a second job, an extra 15 hours a week, and I was thinking beforehand, like, as much as I need this job, I like this job, and I want it, it's like, at first I was thinking, wow, I'm going to work an extra 15 hours a week, I'm going to spend at least an extra hour each day driving, um, I figured it out, uh, yeah, it's like an extra 20 hours a week out of my time, and uh, but things seem to be going well. I got a lot, a lot of my work is done on the weekends, but I uh, had some extra work. I got some visitors coming. I had to work extra hard this weekend to get along with my other regular duties. My wife and I worked really hard this weekend to get a guest bedroom ready for some company that we're having. And um, I got everything done, just about everything done. And um, well, I didn't have to grocery shop this week, and that definitely helped. And it definitely helps to do all my food prep on the weekend. So that way I, I don't have to cook during the week. I can just eat leftovers. I have my meals ready. Or if, if it's something I can make real quick, like a sandwich or toss a salad together, that definitely helps. Something fast. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's amazing how I got this extra 20 hours a week taken out of my time. But yet I feel like I, 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 with working these extra hours, having an extra 20 hours taken out, I said to myself, like, I'm really, I think I got my time, my tasks, at home and out of errands better organized now i think when i was working just 40 hours a week i uh was kind of lackadaisical not really planning my time but i guess when you work extra hours two jobs plus three jobs whatever you have you really have to pray to organize your um time better and which is what i'm doing and uh, get your priorities set straight and that definitely helps I'm a pretty organized person for the most part, and yeah, it definitely helps to have your priorities and your uh, tasks, your errands or organized. I'm a pretty good organizer, like I said, and you know, there's that saying that you know, time flies when you're having fun, and it sure does, and um, when you're bored, yeah, definitely time doesn't go by as fast. It's amazing how some days are like that, some days at work, you know, time goes by so fast, and some days, sometimes it drags, and it's just... It's just obviously the same. No one's messing with the clock, but it's just all, all of your perception. And like again, working forty hours a week, I used to feel like the weekends went fast because I get off work at ten thirty on Friday night, and then I don't, I wasn't going back to work until two o'clock on Monday afternoon, and that's quite a bit of time off. But it still went fast. But this weekend, so I worked till ten thirty, and again. Obviously worked at 1030 on Friday night, my main job, and then I had to be at my morning job at 730 this morning. Had to be up at about 615 to get ready to get there on time. It's about half hour drive, morning rush hour traffic. And I, I yeah, this weekend, uh, I, you know, when you think about it, it should have gone by real fast because I had so much work to do. And uh, it was uh, shorter compared to my when I was only working one job. But uh, again, it, it went by, uh, I'm not uh, going to complain about a weekend going by slow, but uh, it definitely seemed like it took its time, like it didn't really go by that fast. So I, I think, it, again, it's like time is just all perception, and uh, it definitely helps to make time, if you really want time to go by slower, you want more time freed up, I think it just helps to organize and plan your errands, you know, your housework, grocery shopping, all that stuff, uh, house projects. You know, everything, it just helps to be more organized. You know, I, I usually make a list. I did a video on this before, but, you know, it definitely helps to make a list of things. It keeps my motivation up. You make a list of, like, you know, maybe 10 things you have to do on the weekend. As you do them, you cross it off. And uh, rather than you not putting everybody learns different, but that's the way I learn. That's the way that I'm able to get tasks done. I tend to forget if I just have it up in my head. You know, I might remember only maybe half the things, if even that, and I forget about the other things, and it's like, oh, I'll get to it later, and then other things pile up, so it definitely helps to get things down. I, I, have, I just make notes on my phone. Before, I used to write things down on paper, but I make notes on my phone about things that I have to do, things I have to get done, and it definitely helps, and I don't forget, just like making up a grocery list, too. I put that in my phone. I used to put that on paper, but I got that on the phone app now, too, and that Definitely helps, and just check it off as you buy the things at the store. So, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Time is all perception. Uh, a lot of life is perception. You know, um, 
someone told me once, like specifically with like a job, someone said like, you know, job isn't created to make you happy. It's like all how you perceive it. And that's definitely true. From what I found out, it's life is a lot of uh, self-perception, self-awareness, uh, positive, negative self-talk. However you are, you know, um, you uh, basically are in charge of your own happiness. Things, you know, don't make you happy, whether it's, a, you know, a job that you had, a marriage, a relationship that you're in, a marriage, a friendship. Maybe, um, I don't know, a relationship with um, a neighbor or something like that. I guess the best thing to do is just to try to change things to make yourself happier, whatever it may be. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all real soon on another great video. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.